Hey everybody, my name is Tektos and this is Let's Play Old World. We're back with Queen Miha and the war against Assyria has started and I'll redo that last move. That felt a little bit... I just, out of reflex, I undid the move because I wanted to position other units here. But um, yeah, it's it's a bit cheaty if you move a unit there and then you check out what they have and then you move it back. So uh, we'll leave it there. It's okay. Um... Yes, we'll leave it there. Okay, so now we need to move our archers a bit and we'll find a nice position where they could act um, so that the enemy can't act too well. Actually, we could go here. It's going to leave us with more orders. The problem is mostly orders. Uh, everything else we have, we have the troops necessary. But if we move forward too far, like here, uh, we'll leave ourselves very vulnerable, very open, because I don't see what they have here. And they are similar in strength, so they must have a big army, I mean, because we have. Well, not a big army, but we have some troops. So we ought to be careful here. And we're going to use our camel archers, because they are very mobile, as shown by this here. I'm going to bring them down here. <clears throat> so we still have an archer and two melee units and if worse comes to push comes to shove we can pull down this um, chariot if we still have the orders left over. Mm, the forum is here then after that we'll gain two archers. Or are the archers better produced here? Yes they are. Yes they are. But everything is better produced here. Plus one level, plus 100 XP. I mean, that is ridiculous. We can... Here we only get nothing. We don't get a bonus here. Where is that coming from? Is that a governor that does it? Plus one... Is that... Current governor. Um, bum, 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 bum. Strict new infantry units plus 100 XP. And where is the plus one level coming from? Saddleborn. Oh, it's because of the 100 XP. Mm -hmm. I think. Starts with one level up and 100 XP. Where is that coming from? Da, 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 da. Plus 1.8 this and that. Hmm. Yeah, but we, we can't afford... We need to grow some of the headed. We need to develop it. So we'll leave the governor there. Um, ordinarily, I would switch, but like I said, appointing a governor costs 100. So we won't switch. All right, so the archers are going to be there in three turns. What can they do in three turns? Doesn't look like they can do much. So we could move this archer down. I'm pretty sure. Move you here. Bring the elephant. Oh, actually, bring the maceman. It's quite strong. We could kill that slinger by. going here, but that leaves the archer vulnerable. Uh, we're going to be left with three points, and then we bring the archer here, that's going to be two... Hang on, that will have six left. That's going to cost us... one... These guys suck compared to them. Okay, well that works. We can uh, we can kill this. Or should we go for the? No, we, we can kill this mm, slinger unit. They can then send troops up here. So we better position him here. 
Let's see. No new troops uncovered. So far, so good. I'll give you a nice clobbering. Um, you can then... Attack from... I'll take the weaker archers here. Hang on. You guys go there. A bit more protected. And the weak dudes can do the kill. Okay. So we'll have a bit of a front line here. A bit of protection there. We have one archer in route. Uh, we have a strong melee unit here. So these two will guard that entrance and these axemen most likely will also come down here. And the uh, Onager as well. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um, I would like to remove the ship here out of range from the Trackhands, but it's not in the cards. We don't have the points for it. We don't have the orders. So it is what it is. Let's stay with the Assyrians. Let's see what they do. If they can do much. I mean, oh, this thing here is bad. Bad, bad, bad. <clears throat> can cause a lot of pain. Okay, so they're retreating, which is a smart move. And they're attacking our weaker points up there. Okay, and we got plus 10 legitimacy by discovering more tech. Uh, we're no longer ill, which is great. And we got a couple things we could get. Monastery could choose between monotheism and polytheism. Which doesn't matter because we can't afford it either way. Balliste... Not really important. Um, Longbowman would be nice, but it's six years... Monastery, though. But we can't... Yeah, let's see. What does monasticism lead to? Um, the battle line... Okay, here. Longbowmen lead to pikemen. Both are pretty good. Um, monasticism, where is that? Must be an early tech. Hello? Where are you? Scholarship. Here it is. Okay, that leads to doctrine. Which leads to temple, which helps us with the unrest. But we're okay with the unrest. Cohorts are also pretty good. The swordsmen. Yes, it probably will go with the macemen. They're just very good. There's infantry, 25%. Um... No, I wanted to go with the research. There we go. Hello. Can I please have my choose research? Fine. Ah, it's time to discover your next ambition. What shall we do in the future of Egypt? Kill 20 military units. Hmm. I think that's possible. Control five elder specialists. And let's first see who likes us. Yeah, Ramesside needs a bit of a boost. Control eight luxuries. That's hard. Well, I guess it's okay. We got four. We can get another salt and another two lavender. So that's six. Probably doable. Two dyes. Yeah, it's doable. But they love us already anyway. So, Ramicide. It is. Kill 20 military units. Right, can I now please get my... No, I can't. A gifted inventor at Ipu has risen to national prominence, capturing the interest of the court. How shall we deploy this remarkable individual? A new scholar or a court soldier? You don't need a court soldier, actually. I'll take the scholar. Welcome, Rectory the Scientist. Uh, you will provide a good bit of science at turn. Very nice. Also decent governor. Hmm. I like it. If you only had the civics to put in governors. Inspired by the epi 
Oh, cool, by all wonder, by the Appa <clears throat> Appadana of Basset. Duke Bessis has been inspired by his recent visit to the Appadana in Basset. He, becomes, he comes to you overflowing with enthusiasm. What guidance shall we provide? Well, well. He's righteous already. He's charisma one. You wouldn't believe where all the wood comes from. <laughs> he becomes a naturalist. Um, they worked for years in the tunnels and pits. He becomes a delver. Grand negotiations made it possible. He becomes a deal maker. I can't, it's been so long, I actually would love to be able to give the correct answer here, but I just can't remember it. So let's see, we're compassion, we're dealmaker ourselves. The caravan. Can move around, caravan mission, oh yeah. They worked for years in the tunnels and pits. Lumber mill and groves. Yeah, I think we'll go with the uh, with the deal maker. Because we are a deal maker ourselves, so it would make sense that Miha could mostly relate to that. She probably has no earthly clue how that's how that feat is possible. Like the engineering that goes into it, the thought, the math, the risk, the material and what you need to look for. So all the negotiations made it possible. Sure. I mean she's an artist, she's not concerned with that. Much like mathematicians are not concerned with physics. Alright, so we can go back to this here. I mean, they need physics and math. They, they go together like man and wife, but... It's like a mathematician doesn't like... That reality isn't as smooth as math. Anyway, a longbow man or... Uh, okay, we don't need monasticism. We don't need the goods boost. Don't need ballista, so that makes it... We could redraw. Yeah, it couldn't get worse. Let's redraw. Library. There you go. Or cartography. Oh, jeez. Harbor. Um, extends the trade network, which is great. 10 XP a year. Um, extra for nets and markets. And we could go steel research. Calligraphy. I think we'll go with cartography, honestly. Horsemen, not really. Horse archer, we got the camel archers. Yep. Okay, and then uh, as usual, let's prioritize the growing of the empire. Oh, they vacated our settlement spot, which is very nice. And uh, we're gonna. Three cities, four cities, three cities. Yeah, Tutmosis. This? It's gonna be Tutmosis Island. Um, guys, we picked cut off here already. Research it. Thank you. How often do I need to click on this? Jesus. Um, right, we have a hamlet finished. And we're developing already. What was the plan here? Theater, Odeon, Hamlet. This is a town already. We are two levels, so we cannot build a third. Granary, granary things. Um, we got this and that and the other. So, probably. Nope. Probably. Ah, we need strong culture for ministry. Well, well, well. What could you do? guess the only realistic thing is another farm. Don't need the ranger. Actually, two growth a year is no joke. Yeah, let's go, let's go for that. Two growth a year is absolutely no joke. We'll take that. Okay, and you have now finished the theater, and we have two things, um, but we should be far away from... Oh, three years away from strong culture. Look at this. We have a barracks and a garrison, which is quite enough for military here, I think. Let's see what we could get. Um, we could get the market, but we would much rather build that on the coast here, next to a harbor. Or we could build the crabs. Can we reach there? 
is the question. Yeah, we could. And we should. Because we need growth in this city. We would want more, uh, more specialists. So, that's good. And our new city can now pick a thing to build. The workers coming from Janet, so we don't need that. So we could start it with a forum. I mean, that's a good first building here. And then the worker is going to come over and do that. Okay, nice. Um, you can now... Actually, we'll slow it down with the healing. I mean, the family unit... You can heal here. And these camel archers... I'm gonna leave him here, honestly. I'm not... Or am I? Hmm, okay, let's... Let's deal with the front line first. We have everything we need here. We have an... An axeman... Here, uh, we got a chariot here as a mobile defense. And uh, we got an archer there. And another warrior. Two warriors, actually. So we are kind of defended, sort of. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go to the front lines and deal with that. Let's first see how badly we are damaged. Yeah, we're pretty badly damaged from that. A Nagar shot, but uh, Carthage is making it easy for us, so we just go ahead and heal up. And that's that. And we want to take out this one here as well. Um, they're quite sturdy though. Are you vulnerable to anything? Not quite. Gotta be careful here. But I think that... Onager is the next... target. It's just too devastating. I mean, the damage they do... Ooh, ridiculous. So we'll try and take you out. Okay. One step. Oh, there's the next one. They have two here. Yikes. One is cocked. Ready to shoot. Unlimbered. We need our own. For sure. Oh, they're just very slow. Very, very slow. Let's move you down here. Let's try and deal with this. That's one. This is bad. We don't want to be too clumped up. So we'll just move over here. You guys can move up there. Give your shot like this. Camel archers. We go here. And the camel archers can deal the killing blow. Um, I don't know what that wasn't too smart. I think I'll attack with the axeman from here. The X one is my cheapest unit. I don't really mind. Ah oh, no, well, it's it's cheap. I made the mistake. Whatever. Okay. Um, we're gonna move you to hmm to where here. So we're somewhat protected. What's the range of these things? Um, if they attack. They have like a area of effect damage. Fifteen into fatigued. 
Hmm, doesn't say here. Range 2 to 4. I guess we'll have to take the risk. Um, I'll just go here. And there we go. One on Ego down. Okay. Right, so which troops can we bring down? Uh, one more archer, I think, is good. And just here is fine, and then you can uh, pass the turn there. And then we need one more melee unit. Who do we have? I guess we only have the chariot here. So we need a chariot there. Um, the elephant here can stay in sentry mode. And these warriors... Oh, we don't have the orders. Oh, I think I can move down here. Yep, yeah, orders are gonna be the number one limiting factor in this war. And that we really got caught out of position badly by the Babylonians forcing this war on us. But I guess that's fair game, because that's about the best thing they could do is force us in a war against the next strong neighbor. And maybe they can backstab, so it does make a lot of sense from that strategic point of view. It doesn't make it less annoying, but... Uh, yeah, and now they're gonna take out the Axemen. Which is okay. You can afford that. But uh, they, they got a really, really strong defense there. We're going to need Carthage to uh, to work on them as well. Now we got two strong cities now. Seven developing. Only two weak. Which must be the new two settlements. Alright guys, and that's going to be... Uh, one archer, two archers and two onagers. And I'm sure they have some cavalry somewhere as well that's going to come out from here in circle us. Um, next attack is gonna be on the maceman. Let's see. I mean, we're certainly gonna get the archer. The question is, how many we're gonna get? I think I'll retreat the maceman here. Carthage is, has a firm grasp on this city here. So I don't need to do much there. Carthage is of no concern to me. They have six cities. Um, it would be a bit annoying to have them here, but I mean, it doesn't really matter to me if it's Carthage or Assyria, whatever. So I'll let them have this one. I'll fully focus down here. Unless we could sneak in here, but yeah, I really don't see why we would do that. Okay, let's move forward where we can. Okay, so you'll be here. Mm -hmm. You'll be there. I don't want to lose the maceman. That currently is my strongest melee unit. Could go here. That's gonna be around seven HP left. I'm gonna be here, so we're gonna take out three with this and four with this. So we could take out this archer with these three units. Um, but then we most certainly could not. Oh, we could. We could take out these guys here as well. And they'll have two Onegers, um, one Archer. But my Macemen will be standing right in their face. Do we sacrifice that? I 
think it's worth a try. Yeah, I have one one warrior here. I think it's worth the try. We'll go here and we'll actually give the first Ah Can't do it with one move. It's okay that we have enough orders, I mean that's not the problem. Um we'll go here. Give you a nice bashing. And then they don't have this one unlimbered, so they could only shoot once. So we could actually move the camel here. In the hopes that they can't surround us here. Okay, so that's number one. Yeah, number two. Bring the chariot here. Bash archer. Bash archer again. Kill archer. Great. Okay. So that is done there. Doesn't look too bad. They have units here, so we need a bit of defense there. And we'll try and rush our... Axeman down here. Maybe two here. Okay, I think that's a decent move so far. So now we could go to the events with still 15 orders in tow. A new game has become popular in Jadu. The locals call it call the game Senate, the game of passing. A board is set up with three rows of ten squares each, on which each player sets five pieces. Twigs are thrown to determine how the pieces may move. The game's objective is to get your pieces off the board first by moving them to the end of the board. Senate players are well advised to keep away from the House of Water, or else they have to restart at the House of Rebirth. What should we do with this undeniably fun invention? Uh, yeah, I encourage it to be a pastime. I mean, it's a game fit for the Astrock. No, I don't think that's... No, no, no. We're, we don't have those... Um, yeah, it's a game fit for the pastime in, in JDU. You go ahead and enjoy. Philosophy studies. Now that Princess... T has completed her study of philosophy. How shall she contribute to the court? What role best suits her? A scholar or a zealot? Um, it's pretty obviously a scholar, because we are a scholar and that's just a tradition of the family, so please be one. She can change that later through events, which we learned, which is great. Promote Governor Nebet of Basset. Um, you are, well, you can be strict. Could be a naturalist. We'll get more from Lumbermills and Grows, or we could just have extra charisma, which in this case, by the way, does make a lot of sense. We want more civics points. So, yeah. Please get that. Okay, so now we have a couple settlers. Um, Horse Ranger, two turns. Do we just idle you around for two turns? We're also waiting for culture, right? No, we're not developing, so we could actually use the time to build a courthouse. Why would we build that here? I would suggest that. That is weird. It's a strange position for it. Why not put it here? Hmm. No, I'll put the courthouse here. Okay, more civics is more better, as we all know. And uh, here we have finished a ministry. Look at you. A ministry. And we have now also built... I can't see it, but I'm thinking we have a road here. No, we do not. So how about you right next to... Where's the capital? Right next to here. So we could go to Persopto there and just build a road to the capital, please. 
That would be so lovely. Are you doing it now? Yeah, I think you are. Because we're, uh, yeah, we're waiting for, for the uh, museum there, and we have everything else done in Persopto, I think. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Oh, we don't have the quarry yet. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I should have built that first. I, it just looked like we had it. Okay, that was stupid. We do need the quarry because we then have more civic points and civic points are great, as we all know. <laughs> um, right, so we have the fisher nets here and there. Could build quarries on the wall there. And why actually not? Why not? We could also build... No, we can't. I was about to say we could build a market here, but close to those fisher nets, but apparently we can't. I'm waiting for the poets. Hmm. Is there anything we could do here that will help us? No. All requires too much culture. We could build hamlets, but... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, all not that easy. So I guess we'll go with a range here. Or do we build some mines? We do have a nice bit of income of steel actually currently. But we could also build mines going up here and build the range down there. Okay, fine. So one last time, we'll go here for the range. Mm -hmm. And then we have one worker here. We did finish the range and the thing, and we now have the fur camp. And we can now build a courthouse, great. But we want the, we have the Odeon. We have that, and we're waiting for the farmer. So the courthouse garrison courthouse probably goes on the hill here. Mm -hmm. Actually on the hill. I guess here if we... What is the plan? Granary, farm, farm, farm. Probably here. Is it? Good place. Or just here in the city. Yeah, come on, why not build in the city? Have yourselves a courthouse. Okay, then we have Persoptu. That could... Ah, nice. So now we have that space here. We have a farmer now, which gives us more citizens faster. And we have a pretty strong... Pretty, pretty strong civics production. So we can get archives, which we should get. Uh, we're strong culture, but that's not quite enough. So we probably want that poet. Or the Elder Acolyte. It's going to give us more orders. Let's start with the Elder Acolyte. And then go down from there. Okay, zero orders. Um, I'm actually going to, before we completely... Oh. Okay, so we could... We have you back now. We could uh, start a new mission somewhere, but... Uh, where's my second scout? Um, I'm actually gonna buy out one order. Just to remove that ship here. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Ne next turn, though. Next turn. Uh, it's, it's a promise. Alright. Military is positioned okay. Not too bad. And we're not suffering too badly from 
underdeveloping our empire. I mean, we're pretty much up there in the points. Uh, there's two more points coming from the library here. Seven years. The museum, rather. And then we have the mauso mausoleum coming up here as well. Now, we could also now select the chancellor again. And uh, they all are pretty horrible at what they do. Minus 1.5 culture per city. I mean... There we go. Plus, yeah, that's the one. Um, he's a bit younger. Would be nice. Um, also, picking a Ramicide would also be nice. But it can't be helped. I mean, they just suck. Oh, but you can't be it anyway. Okay. You know what? We'll pick the young Nefertiti. Yeah, why not? We pick the young Nefertiti. Um, everybody else is busy. You horribly suck at being that. I mean, 20 family opinion, yeah, but minus two culture per city, no thanks. So, we'll just take that little bit of extra cash and pick you, and then she can... Oh, we need two orders for that. Okay, fine. Nefertiti it is. Okay, that should give us a bit of a boost here. Yeah, that does. Good. Because Ramicide, we, we need... Ooh, okay, things are, are heating up a little bit. Um, so far, so good, though. In before next season, they come out with five calories here and rush through my flank, which currently is very open. I mean, I needed to close this here before we went to war, and I didn't get the time, which is, yeah, it's time will tell if that is bad or if we might get lucky. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for the episode and for the season. We'll uh, see each other again next week. Check out uh, my other seasons that I have, and uh, my other seasons, my other series. Uh, the Workers and Resources is going to start, and Endless Space, of course. And uh, the good news is we're one month away from Humankind. So soon we can play Old World and Humankind and uh, never work or do anything productive again. Isn't that great? I think it is. <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.